a lot of issue. He emphasized that dialogue is the only means, and he who on to the government to call for the dialogue. And I am appreciating that point of his, because here the Amazonians are open for dialogue. I can confirm that because uh, uh, this woman, that, from, uh, that uh, senator, Regina Mundi, was kidnapped or taken away by the Amazonia. And when, he ret when she returned back, she visited the uh, president of the Senate and told the president of the Senate, that video is on social media, that the Amazonia it told him that he should tell the government to organize a dialogue and call for a ceasefire. The government did not do it. And so the Amazonia are open for dialogue. We saw what happened with the Canadian dialogue. The Amazonia, they were ready, but the government canceled it. The dialogue that was to be organized by the, in Switzerland, the government canceled it. The Amazonia are ready. I'm appreciating him for holding on to this particular point that the government should be the one to organize for a sincere, inclusive dialogue where everybody will, accountability will, and reform is another point. Reform as the way forward. What is the reform? The state of the government. The form of government is a reform that can come to end this. I told you people that the Anglophone crisis is a constitutional crisis, not a military crisis. And a constitutional crisis, we have to go back to the root causes of the Anglophone crisis. Going back to the root causes, we are starting since 1961 or 1960, when French Cameroon got independence. There was nothing like British Cameroon. British Cameroon was still dependent. And then they now to achieve their own independence. We are coming back now to ask the United Nations, why did you ask British Cameroon to join Nigeria or to join Cameroon? And this land, British Cameroon, was divided into two. And one part today is permanently in Nigeria, the British Northern Cameroon. And the British Southern Cameroon came to uh, and joined a French Cameroon. And to, since then, they have been in trouble. They have been marginalized. They have been tortured, maltreated, and treated as second-class citizens. This is what they call reform as a way out that he mentioned. And they're coming back that, okay, it has to be. The, the people of Southern Cameroon had decided that, okay, we are going to be with French Cameroon. And then they formed the federal system in 1961. And it went operational and officially on the 1st of October 1961. What happened that this, this it was dissolved by Amadou Ahijo? That is where we have to go back. Reform. And when this was it, it, it dissolved, the people of Southern Cameroon started suffering because President Amadou Ahijo started struggling to assimilate the people of Southern Cameroon up to the point that he refused to create an anglo saxon university. And President Bobia came and took over the atrocity of Amadou Ahijo and continued with it. And he, in, in his own point, he struggled to uh, uh, maybe play a, a, a political game over the people of Southern Cameroon by creating anglo saxon University and indirectly was struggling to harmonize the educational system of the educational system in Cameroon. And in that struggling, he frustrated the anglo saxon system of education. He frustrated the judicial system in Southern Cameroon in the name of harmonizing them to become what I don't know, French system of education and English system of education will form which kind of education, educational system. I don't understand. And this is where all kind of frustration started. So if we are talking about reform as a way, as the way out, then we have to go back to all these root causes of the Anglophone crisis. Then when we go back there, talk about it, then we will know where. And it should be. When they talk about dialogue, accountability is that everybody should take his or her responsibility. If you have done this wrong, you have to open up the government. Everything happening in Southern Cameroon, I keep on today to tomorrow appointing an accusing finger to the government of Cameroon. They are fully responsible. People will ask me, why are you not talking about accusing the Amazonia? Ask yourself where Amazonia came from. 
The name Amazonia started in 1984. Why? Because President Pobia changed the name from United Republic of Cameroon to Republic of Cameroon, the name of French Cameroon. And then that was an indication of total separation. And that is where the name Amazonia came in. And then when you are talking about this Amazonia we are having today, that they are they from the Amazonia fighter. We are talking about where they came from. They came up in 2017. Why? Because of the negligence and the maltreatment of the people of Southern Cameroon by the government of Cameroon. Because of the incapable attitude of the government of Cameroon to solve the problem of the lawyers and the teachers. And they started pushing the police, forcing the police and the Yandans, the military, to go kill the people of Southern Cameroon. And, and uh, Southern Cameroonians become angry. And those ones who call themselves the Amazonians say, if we don't come in, our people will be killed upon. And they came in to defend the people of Southern Cameroon. That is why when you look at the history of this crisis, that 2017, when the Amazonia came in, it turned into this thing we are having today. You discover that it started with all Southern Cameroonians in support. The parliamentarians, the traditional rulers, and everybody in support of it. And then the government discovered that it would be difficult. So it started going behind to buy those power mongers and those money mongers in Southern Cameroon, calling themselves elite politicians and traditional rulers. And that is where frustration started. And the crisis and the fight collapse up to date. So that these are the points we have to talk about. And we have to hold on to. If we are talking about an end to, to this crisis, the government should call for a dialogue. A dialogue where the government will be accountable. Or a dialogue where the government will open up for reform. For people to talk their heart. And for all the three, any kind of government people want. If any group is coming up that we want separation, they should be allowed to express their views, to convince others that separation is the best. If there are people coming up for federation, they should allow them to express their opinion that a, a federation is the best. If people are coming up for one and indivisible Cameroon, they should be given the chance to express their opinion that one and indivisible Cameroon is the best.